So in this video we'll update our configuration and we will register a bunch of bins. So as the first thing, let's navigate to configuration class and let's start defining the bins. The first one we will use will be the user details service. So bin fun user details service. I would like this function to inject user repository because we must specify the user repository for our user detail service, right? User repository. And this function should return user details service. Of course, we'll use the custom user detail service implementation. Custom user detail service. And it requires us to pass the user repository to its constructor. Following, I'll add the password encoder. As I mentioned a few videos ago, we should never store passwords in a plain text, but we should always encrypt them before persisting them. Also, later when we will be trying to sign into our application, we will compare the plain text sent by user, which will be encrypted with the value encrypted in our database if they match. We will never try to decrypt or something like that before doing the comparison. Nevertheless, let's specify the bcrypt password encoder. So again, new bin fun encoder password encoder. And I would like to instance create bcrypt password encoder. Alternatively, for the testing purposes, if you would like to uh, deal with plain values, you can use no op, no op encoder something like that no password encoder when you navigate to this class you can see that this password encoder is provided for legacy and testing purposes only and it is not considered secure right so again for testing you can use this one nevertheless if you would like to simulate at least a bit production environment then we can use the bcrypt password encoder following we must specify the authentication provider for spring framework so again Let's go with bin, bin, phone authentication provider. It will take again user repository, user repository, bin authentication provider. Excellent. Equals. I would like to use DAO authentication provider, or authentication provider. Let's invoke the constructor. Moreover, Let's go with also and let's set two values here. The user detail service that we'd like to use. So it will be this one and the encoder we have. So it will be this one. It set user details service. And let's evoke the method user detail service, user repository. Similarly, let's set password encoder it, password encoder and encoder the other function we already implemented. Lastly, I would like to set the authentication manager bin phone authentication manager. This function will take the authentication configuration as an argument config authentication configuration as the argument. And what I would like this one to return will be authentication manager. Authentication manager equals and lastly set config dot authentication manager. Control Alt L. Wonderful. So again, firstly, we create a bin of user detail service where we specify our custom user detail service. Following, we make a bin of password encoder, which will be used in our DAO authentication provider. Lastly, authentication manager will be set based on the authentication configuration. And basically that's all for this video. In the next one, I will show you how to update our user repository to make use of our bcrypt password encoder so that we will not store our password as a plain text anymore. See you in the next video.